Well, good morning, all. Uh, it's been a while since the last stream. Uh, for today, I was planning on um, doing a little bit of um, um, working with blend spaces, mainly creating one, um, and um, as well as um, adding a um, a new tag for that. Um, and um, being able to access it via the, the mannequin. So uh, that would be the plan. Create the blend space in the character tool. Uh, then um, we add that tag in, um, um, in mannequin. And we'll go into the C++ a little bit so we can actually use that tag when, uh, when we use one of the, you know, the walking actions. We're not going to get into adding uh, an extra action, you know, would be maybe a shift for run or anything like that. So um, hopefully that will, that should, you know, fill the hour a little bit. All right, so we'll start from scratch. We'll create a, a new template and this, I'll, I'll start with a third person uh, shooter template just because we'll be able to see um, it a little better. So let's name this a, uh, Third person shooter, and I'll call this stream. All right, so let's create this project. And um, so let's start it up. We have to uh, load the engine, and uh, let me just switch to uh, a different layout here. Let's see, layout, load layout, and call this stream, I believe. Okay, here we go. So let's open our, and actually, I'm just going to create a new level just because the example level is, you know, um, doesn't have the grid, so you don't really know. How things are happening. So right now, you know, we got the little uh, modus guy here walking around, and um, you know, as you can see, even this blend space is a little honky because you know it's kind of I don't know what's going on there. So let's um, let's go into our character tool, and um, what I'll do for this, I'll create a um, a jogging blend space. So let's um, go ahead and animation character tool. All right, so I'm just gonna move it here. So in here, let's um, first load up our sample character, which is gonna be let's do this third person. Uh, so if we were to look and the animations, most animations, we got the blend spaces, and there's um, you know there's the move strafe and um, you know, you can get some ideas from here what's happening. Um, of course, if you want to see more about how uh, the blend space is being affected, you can change the travel angle. And one thing that I like to do is turn on this local motion locator. So that way you can actually see the y-axis and, and how this is all going around. So there we go. And... Um, so that's uh, that's our basic uh, kind of moving locomotion shit. So this is uh, let's see if I can uh, get to that. So see this is what's happening, which is kind of I don't think it's weird, but when it comes to this, it's all it kind of you know steps on its own on its own on its own feet, so to speak. So um, let's see about. Um, Creating a new one of these. So to do that, let's open up um, Explorer. So let's see what way. I think the easier way to get to it is through here. And uh, let's go to Explorer. So there we go. We have our screen. So in order for this, let's go into uh, Assets, Animations, and Mannequin. 
No, it is loading back to more uh, modus animations. And we got the base space. So uh, what I'll do to create this jogging uh, blend space is copy one of these and paste it. And I will rename this to, um, this is not going to be rotate, but it's going to be jog. Okay, so let's open this up with my tab. And um, we'll quickly remove some of the things around here because we don't really need it at this point. Um, I'm probably going to leave this in for now, the dimensions, but I'll remove our animations and in this section as well. So this is what you end up with. So let's save this and uh, jump back in the engine. Uh, one thing that I can figure out is um, if we need to, uh, I think we need to restart the engine for this new file to be loaded. Uh, let me see if it did. Yeah, I think we need to restart it. I'll just go ahead and close that. And um, let's go back in, fire this baby up. All right, so here we go. Oops, I want to make this closer to be here. And let's do the object on this side. Uh, kind of, my bad, I got a little bit messed up and I dragged something over. Um, huh. So let's open up test level. And also, let's go on back into animation, character pool. And I'll push that over here. Okay, so um, let's load up our character. And we got third person. We got animations, animations, B space, and let's see. We have our our jog thing here, and uh, you know nothing happens. Uh, one thing that I want to do is for this third person, um, I'm just going to remove the weapon. I don't really need it here. So, let's see, you can just right click on this little arrow and then remove. And I'll probably remove this barrel also. So we only have our base um, skin with the, with the skeleton. Alright, so let's save that. It's kind of weird because this seems always like it's just, you know, meant to be clicked once. But you need to double click it. Um, it's probably some little bug. Okay, so let's open up our blend space and start adding things to it. So, um, right now, there's, um, oh, was it the, I don't know if I got rotate. Oh, I guess, I guess it didn't really save it properly, so let's see. Um, yeah, so right now it's just doing uh, the same thing that the rotate was doing. Uh, probably didn't save it properly, but let's get rid of these animations. We don't really need them, and the annotations as well. So in order to do that, I'll just pause this, and I'll right-click, remove. You can always do it here. Or you can remove all, and uh, also remove the pseudo examples. I don't need these either, and the annotations. Remove all. Okay, so. Um, for this to work, we also need to add another dimension, and this is going to be a move speed. Uh, these are the ones that are uh, you can trigger or track from um, um, through uh, C++, through your code. Okay, so uh, with that being said, let's start adding some of our animations. So in order to do that, we'll just add examples. I don't know why they call examples, but um, that's enough for me to judge. Okay, so uh, under examples, we start adding our animations. Uh, the hardest thing that I had to do is figure out um, what some of the tutorials were talking about. Um, so in order for this to work, you have to go around in a clock, a counterclockwise pattern, and you have to do it twice. So if you think about a walk, you walk backwards, 
then you walk at a 45 degree angle backwards again, then you straight right, then you walk forwards at a 45 degree angle, then you walk forwards straight, then forwards to the left at a 45 degree angle, then you straight left, then you walk backwards at a 45 degree angle, and then backwards again. So that's one cycle. Hopefully that makes sense. So that is if you do have all these, these animations. The nice thing about the jog uh, default animations that come with the Smodus character and with the template is that you, we do have all of those. So it's just um, more about you know paying attention to it um, rather than anything else. So let's um, let's go about and do that. So first of all, I want to jog backwards. So let's pick this one up. And the weird thing is, why is this? Oh, let's put this at zero. Um, I was kind of wondering why. Okay, it's it's kind of weird why this is at a uh, at this weird of an angle, and it's not. Uh, should be at should be at zero. Should be like aligned to the grid. So let me try and save this. I'm wondering if I uh, I mean if you look at the y-axis, it's still off, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. That is kind of weird. So let me quickly go into game mode. Alright, so this one still works just fine. Yeah, this one's a little weird why it's uh, it's it's going in at this angle. That is very weird. I mean even if you pick the other ones, they're still doing this weird going in at an angle. I'm wondering if I just change some of the settings in here. Okay, anyways. So let's go back and uh, keep adding these up here. Um, so uh, one thing to keep in mind is uh, what I've learned is that you always have to work with this blend, uh, blend scene preview. Just because when you add one of these animations, and here's another thing that you need to be careful with, um, is that you won't see, see like this character is completely off the grid here. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to that as well. And I, I'm thinking, um, so if you look at this, we have to adjust the cell count and uh, in, in both of these. So if you, if you were to change this up to 9, and uh, this is probably going to be a little higher, you kind of want to have it that it's, um, you know, kind of rectangular shape or, you know, just a, a Uniform grid. Sorry about that. Um, so the other thing you got to be, you know, careful with is, you know, you want to place these on the actual grid. So the grid is basically made out of uh, zero through one, as you can see for the move speed. So you got to be mindful about that. And um, let's see, what else do we need? I think that might be good. Put this all the way back here. And uh, so one thing that I made a mistake is the turn angle should be a slightly lower number. And let's do this. Uh, that's not good. Let me cheat a little bit and. Uh, look at one of these move blend spaces. Uh, so let's see, we got 29 for the move speed and um, 9 cells for the move speed and 29 for the travel angle, which is a little bit big, I would say. So let's see, what do we say? Move speed is 9. So let's do this as 9. 
and the other one I think 29 is just too much so let's do it 18 it should be a little better um, let's make this a little bigger like we'll do the max at 2 so I think that works a little better that way okay so um, depending on how many of these we add um, we'll probably have to scale this up a little more so let's see how this goes so we got the jog backwards and um, one thing that um, they want to do is um, well, and I kind of found this through experimenting is the going forward has to be centered so for example this jog backwards is going to have to be so we got to put it like there and on one of these sides all right so there's that um, let's keep adding these we have a few more to add uh, so now if you think about it the next one is going to be um, it's not going to be jog backwards but um, now we got a jog backwards and to the right at a 45 degree angle so let's pick that one up and that's jog backwards so let's look for backwards and it's going to be a cross so and we want to cross to the right so let's open that and as you can see this one's going at this angle so we want to place it somewhere around here for the blend to happen so again, you're going to check these values here, and um, there, and right about there. Okay, let's add another one. There's going to be quite a few added, so you know, bear with me here. All right, so now we, we're jogging cross, and now we want to straight to the right. So it's going to be also jog and straight right. Okay and also let's place this in the same spot or you know next to to number one so there's that so this is where you kinda you, you might want to make the grid a little bigger so let's add uh, a few cell counts in here not less but maybe more and make this space a little bigger maybe four and this one as well. I think what I did last time was I went from a negative 3.14 to 3.14 just like that. Zoom out a little bit. So hopefully that gives us a little bit more space and I think actually we could, we could have kept this at 1.57 so negative 57 it's going to make it a little tighter. Hopefully it's not going to affect it too much. Let's uh, let's keep it like this for now. We'll adjust it later. Okay, so um, we got these three here. So I'll, I'll space them out a little bit. So move this one this way a little bit. And this one this way a little bit. There we go. Um, the problem that I... Um, figure out that you got to be careful is, is whenever we create these uh, uh, annotations is so that they don't overlap I think that's the biggest thing to be careful with okay so let's continue adding these examples and uh, next one is going to be so jogging to the right it's going to be now uh, jogging right at an angle so it's going to be that jog cross so let's look for the cross the jog cross forward right okay and let's place this as well on our right here I would say and I'm just getting all tight alright so let's add the next one is going to be jog forward so it's going to be jog forward and again, just let's place these here. Yeah, so depending on the grid, it's kind of, uh, you know, you're trying to just fit them in. 
So like I said, we might have to expand this a little bit like that. All right, I think that might work a little better. We got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and we're halfway through. Well, at least halfway through adding the first cycle, because like I said, we have, we have to go uh, twice counterclockwise. I'm not sure what that is, but um, you, it'll kind of make sense a little, in a little bit. All right, so let's add, uh, we got jog forward, and now it's going to be straight, um, actually it's going to be cross left. So let's add this one in, again just cross, so it's going to be jog cross um, forward left, there we go. So let's place this as well in here. Right about, right, right about there. All right. I'm just gonna move this knees. And let's keep adding the left ones. All right. So now we got a jog. Uh, it's gonna be a straight. So it's gonna be jog straight left. Okay. Place this on the grid as well. So as you, if you look at this, it, it looks like they're kind of mirrored, right? So pretty much that's how the movement is. And um, let's continue adding these. So this is going to be straight left. Now it's going to be uh, it's going to be across, but backwards. So backwards left. Um, jaw cross, backwards left. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. It was kind of tough for me to understand at first. Also, just you know, naming was a little bit weird for me, and uh, you know, then this placement on the grid was also you, know, you have to get you have to get used to it. All right, so there's that, and uh, now it's going to be the last one for this cycle, and then we'll just be able to copy these. So let's add, and now the and the last one is going to be jog backwards. Okay. So let's place this here and all the way to the right, yeah, kind of like so. Okay, so um, we got the set of this. Let's go ahead and save this. And um, this is going to be a first for me as well. But what I'm thinking of doing is actually, um, since we have, uh, let's see, that's not it. Where's my. Where's my jog backwards? There we go. So, since we have these added in already, uh, what I'm thinking of doing is actually just copying these and duplicating them uh, instead of you know keep struggling to add all these all these actions in. Um, so let's uh, let's do that. Uh, first of all, I, might, I think I might need to close the engine because I'm not sure if it's going to make it crash or something like that. So I'm going to copy these and paste them underneath. So as you can see, we're going around twice. So we're starting with back, going all the way back to back, I guess. <laughs> and then again, going, going backwards and then ending backwards again. Uh, so uh, these values... Um, they're, they're actually the same, but now, in order to create the blend, we're going to have to push these up that um, up that axis. So, for this one, we're going to have to do, we'll change the, all these to positives. So, hopefully this is going to work, and uh, the engine is not going to hate me. Alright, so let's go back in. And um, and hopefully it's going to pick up this new blend space, and um, we'll be able to create those annotations. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this level. All right, so let's select the character. There it is. Now it's. Um, align to the grid as it should be and uh, let's select our blend space so blend space is going to be our jog blend space 
So there we go. We have um, it actually worked. Oh, that looks good. So um, the thing that we need to do is, um, you know, for this to actually do something. Uh, let me move this off the side a little bit. So as you can see, the turn angle doesn't really do anything. So um, it's just playing, you know, one of these animations. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, also using the grid, I mean, or this blend space preview. Let's add these annotations in. So these are going to be a few of them. And uh, hopefully they make sense as I add them. So for this one, we got to start again. Uh, we start from, from left and, and move to the right. So going counterclockwise, we're going to go 8, 7, 16, 17. And I believe that's how the blend is actually being it, it actually works. Uh, so let's go ahead and add these up. There's going to be this first annotation. I'm going to add three of these elements. And uh, hopefully it doesn't crash. I don't know why it's froze up a little bit. Alright, so I fell on. Alright, so let's try changing this. Maybe I need to pause this thing. It's probably trying to do too many things at once. Alright, so th then we have uh, 8. Alright, let's, let's close this up. I don't know if this is what's causing it. This is a little bit annoying. Welcome to friends and sometimes is what I say. Yeah, there you go. Let me just close it because I mean whenever it starts throwing all these warnings and errors, it's definitely having a fit, so let me just close this up. And sometimes what it might happen is because uh, these blending animations are too close. So let's go ahead and fire this back up. Let's see if it does the same thing again. Apparently so. Let me see if I can. Uh... Okay, so uh, let me add some of these in and I'll show you what's going on. So let's add a second one. So these are going to be, I'm looking at uh, Blend Space Preview right now. And uh, so I've added 8, 7, 16, 17. Now I'm moving on to 7, 8, 15, 16. So again, add 
four of these. So this is 7, 8, 15, 16. Oh, 7, 6, my bad. There we go. So let's save these while we're at it. Then uh, let's add the next one. It's 6, 5, 14, 15. So let's add four of these. So it's 6, 5, 14, 15. So hopefully, once I have these added, it's not going to be as, um, you know, low performance kind of thing happening here. Okay, so move on to the next one. So add one, two, three, and four. Alright, so let's start with this is gonna be five, four, thirteen, and fourteen. Alright, so let me show you what's going on in the blend space preview. So what we've added so far, well, we've got it. Last one is 5, 4, 13, 14. Then we're going to move on to 4, 3, 12, 13, 3, 2, 11, 12, and uh, finish off over here. So I'm just going to move this to the side and finish off adding these annotations. So again, just four of these. I guess I could I could have done the add. I'm not sure what the difference between the two is. So this is going to be 4, 3, 12, 13. All right, there we go. That got added. And another one. This is also 4 of these items. And we have... 3, 2, 11, 12. All right, let's see, that one gets added. There it is. Okay. So we got three more to go. Hang in there. And add, add, and add. Okay, so this one is going to be. Two, one, ten, and eleven. So I, I believe it's still how close we have these together. That's why it was getting processed so um, took you know longer to process because this last one, this last annotation I added, got processed so quick. I mean it was instantaneous. Well, the other ones I, I'm, I'm thinking it might be because these are really tight. So, you know, you do you, you do update that by changing the values in here. All right, so let's uh, move on and add the last one. So this also has four of these in here. And this is one, zero, nine, ten. Alright, so let's save this. Let's take a quick peek at uh, this turn angle. If um, cause this should be updating. I'm not sure why it isn't. So that is kind of interesting why um, why 
my dead angle is not updating like this one here. Oh, so I'm thinking I might have messed up one of the uh, animations. I'm looking at the blend space here. And uh, if you look at number four, that's kind of flipped. And that one and uh, this one and three as well. So I'm not entirely sure why that's happening. Like all of these here are acting like they're supposed to, but these two down here, they're, um, they're not at the right angles, so, like this one, number two, should actually be a straight, and it, it is a straight, but it's not really scraping. Which is a little weird. Like the ones on this side are good. doing this. I'll just save this real quick and I'll uh, also open the level. Not sure if that uh, that matters. I mean it shouldn't. But you never know. Yeah, this number four is awfully going the wrong way. So let me try and close this, maybe due to all these errors that were being triggered. So let's try opening that blend space again and see what's going on. So this looks a little better. Let me just move this out of the way. And let's look at the turn angle. And that still does not seem to affect anything. That is weird. So let me quickly open uh, one of my uh, other projects that uh, I had this working in and uh, take a quick peek at um, the settings for that. So 
So let's see. Um, yeah, characters. For the person. Let's look at the blind space in here. And why is that? Giving me a hard time. So we have the move speed, we have the travel angle. So for this one, I have uh, nine and seven. So if you look at the blend space preview, and that's how they look. So I mean, that's definitely uh, you know a little bit, a lot better representation of of how this is supposed to be. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 true, Oscar. I think that's what it is. Um, but um, I'm not sure how you uh, how you how would, would you change that from um, so that it's it's not that 90 degree blend space turn. Because this is how it's supposed to behave. Um, so for the other one, it um, it wasn't doing it like that. So we got move speed and travel angle. Oh, huh. okay. I think uh, I think I, I I understand what's happening. We have the turn angle instead of the travel angle. So let's turn this to travel angle and let's try this again. Uh, I think that was uh, I think that was my mistake. So and I believe I need to flip these around. So um, let's remove this one. And uh, add the travel angle. So move speed traveling is going to be a uh, negative uh, 1.57 with a max of 1.57. All right. So if you look on the grid right now, whoops, uh, not on the grid, but yeah, so I mean, you can call it the grid, but it's this blend space preview. Uh, these guys are a little off, so uh, we need to kind of adjust them to get back on the grid. And uh, this is going to be a little bit of a, not a pain, but, uh, you know, so this is, this is what we're looking for whenever you change the travel angle. Uh, but right now I have these a little messed up because of uh, choosing that the wrong dimension in here instead of the travel angle. I went for the uh, turn angle. So um, let's uh, let's see if we can change this real quick. And uh, hopefully that won't take too too long. So first of all, I'm going to change this to negative 3.14 just to make the make the grid a little bigger. So kind of make it look a little bit like that. So now I'm going to try and uh, just going to keep this in here. Hopefully it doesn't cause any crash. So let's try with uh, number zero. Um, yeah, and I hate when that happens. Um, so number zero is going to have to be here. So we're looking at um, turn this to zero and uh, three dot fourteen. Actually, it's negative, I guess. Fourteen. Then we'll turn all these to zeros. Uh, 
five. So let's make sure these are you know, a little bit more proper. So negative two dot seven is too much. I'm just trying to kind of center them on those little, uh, um, actually, you know, the grid. So um, let's bring this back in there. I wish they would make these little proper arrows and not just these little tiny things that you can't really, you know, hit. <laughs> All right, so 187, then let's make this one. Yeah, like that. Then this one is going to be zero. I'm going to make it a little bigger. There we go. And I'm probably going to have to make them, let's see if I add, um, Another cell count to this. Maybe I'll be able to make them a little tighter. That's, that's not the one. Yeah, hopefully with their new iteration of the engine, they're actually going to make these some proper little things that you can actually click on and not just be frustrated with it. Um, okay, so let's see. We are at number two. Two. Let's get number three because it's right over here. So, like that. Number four. Right about there. Number five. Number six. Seven and eight. So, let's do seven. And eight, and put that as zero as well. All right, so then we start with these ones. This is going to be, I believe I've set it to four or something like that. There we go, five dot seven, apparently. All right, so that needs to be right there. Then so five dot seven. Let's make all these five dot seven. Five dot seven. I could have done this in Notepad, no thinking about it, but uh, I like to have this visual cue here. Uh, it's actually showing you where the things go. It would have been nice to be able to drag these around, but apparently I don't think that's possible. So, all right, so we got nine. Um, then let's do ten. So, the, sorry, that was nine. And ten. Uh, then let's do eleven. Eleven. Then twelve. Let's do 14, 15, 16, and 17. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and uh, take a quick peek at how this one reacts. All right, so that's a lot better, I think. Um, it still doesn't go around uh, the full circle, and I believe that could be due. Um, probably need to restart it. So that's saved. We have all the annotations in place. Oh, there we go. I guess I just needed to select it again. It's it's weird how how these get updated. I'm I'm not entirely sure, but um, so now you know we can uh, see that this one is blending in pretty nicely between all these you know cross to left straight to to walking to you know running forward um, and um, 
and now we are actually able to um, to add this either as a um, as a new tag in in mannequin or replace one of the existing ones. So what I'm thinking of doing um, is uh, just replacing an exi existing one and uh, maybe saving uh, the coding part for uh, for next week. So let's jump into I'm going to pull the character tool off screen. And uh, what we'll do for today is just replace, right now, I believe it's just, uh, you know, walking with the gun. So I'll replace that with the jog animations. Uh, the problem that, you know, we're, we're probably going to run into is that um, the feet are just going to look like they're sliding. So uh, uh, that would have to be fixed uh, through the code. So let's fire up um, Mannequin. Alright, so here we have our Mannequin Editor, which um, is right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, for our needs, it's going to be the walk. So right now the walk is, uh, if we click on this little play icon, we'll see what's happening here. Uh, let's make this a little bigger. So you'll see, you know, that, that the character just walks. So what we'll do is, for the purpose of today, is just replace this thing here with our new blend space. So that's our jog blend space. And uh, once that is done, remember to save your changes. And uh, now the thing is jogging. So let's jump into engine and see if this is actually the case. So sometimes it does not pick it up instantly, apparently. Let's see if we quickly restart the engine. And of course, our ubiquitous error about who knows what. Alright, let's fire this up and see if our, if our blend space works. And it's a little funky. I'm not sure why it's, it, it did initiate it back then, but um, I'm not entirely sure why it just it didn't. Uh, oh, I think I know what it is. So um, it's actually because th that that was not the main one. Uh, the way this is set up, it's all it's all weird to me. It was I could not really understand why there's a rotate walk and then an option in here. But this one also has the move straight, so it's picking up on this one. So what we'll do is let's update this one as well to jog. Make sure you do both of them because I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, I mean, this is how the template was set up. It's fine. Uh, let's save these changes. And let's try this again. So there we go. We have our little guy, you know, running around and, you know, making use of that blend space. Pretty, pretty decently, I would say. Um, no. And, uh, it actually doesn't look like it's, you know, it's, it is, uh, you know, a jog versus a walk. So, uh, um, I think the other one was already set to move a little quick, at a quicker pace. And, uh, probably that's why it's, uh, it seems like the, the feet are pretty well planted on the ground, even with this. Um, but, you know, that's uh, some, you know, minor tweaks that would have to happen. So I would say that um, uh, even though we had that hiccup where um, I added the wrong uh, in, uh, in the character tool, instead of uh, adding the travel angle, I added the turn angle, I believe. Um, I think it turned out, uh, it turned out okay. So, let's see. Um, and this is this is another thing that's that's weird, and it's probably a bug. Um, whenever you have the, the mannequin editor add uh, opened up, 
the mesh will not show so uh, or the skin so you need to turn come in here and uh, actually uh, show the joints because otherwise you wouldn't you, you think there's nothing there but there is so for example if I was to close the mannequin editor and uh, <laughs> this is another bug whenever I close the mannequin editor and I have the character pool open at the same time there's a crash so yeah that's uh, you know bug central when it comes to to bugs it's it, it, it happens with this mannequin and uh, they run into some kind of conflict who knows what but uh, for example right now I have the mannequin editor closed so I can go in here and uh, select one of my characters and the skin will load just fine so yeah keep that in mind uh, we'll see what 5.4 has to uh, to bring to the table uh, hopefully uh, hopefully there's some fixes we'll see how it goes um, but uh, that's gonna be it for this week uh, thank you for stopping by and uh, I'll upload this to YouTube hopefully uh, you will you guys will get something out of it all right everyone have a good uh, have a good rest of uh, rest of the day and a great week take care